quick video of how to use the Singer Professional. The power button is right there near the cable. You want to first do your bobbin. So you put your thread here and then you put the thing to close it. And then you take the thread and loop it in here. And then you loop it here and you make sure it's under that. And then you take it here. And then you put you take your bobbin and you want to make sure that you thread it from inside, like from inner here to going up into the hole. So like you can see where I would be threaded, this is the original hole. So basically make sure that it's inside going through the hole up. Then you hold the thread and then you put it in here and you lock it. Make sure it's like on and then you push it here once you have the thread. And then you hold the thread like this thread would have been threaded in and you hold the thread and you press the, the foot pedal and it will just keep turning and turning it. And then once it turns a little, you can cut the top if you want, you know, like the small. And then you keep going, going, going. And once you're done, you push it back and then take it off uh, and then cut the thread. And then to put it here, um, you release this by opening it which I think I already opened so I don't have it but you do that to open it and then you make a P with this so this looks like a P and you put it down in here and then you use this diagram and the arrows here to loop it exactly how it says so through here up here down here come here and then this cuts the thread so make sure you push enough so it cuts it and then you close it the plastic thing and then to do the thread for sewing um you you do put this in here put this through here and then you're gonna put it through this white thing here and then you can see there's an arrow here it's like white so you can see but there you put the thing there then you follow the arrow and you go up and then you follow the arrow here and make sure it goes through this inside and you should be able to see that it went into that and then you bring it down here and then there's a spot here Let's see make sure I see it so there's this plus metal thing here and there's like a little thing here you make sure that thread goes into that and then you can yeah, I needed more thread. But anyways, then you can make sure then you can thread it front to back in here or you can use this needle thread. So to use the needle thread you push it down, you go through that to have to use both hands. So to use the needle you push it down, go through this close it so push it down go to this thing close the thing and then there's an extra little hooky thing here right where the needle is and then you go back and then you let go and then you can see there's like a little loop here when you have the loop you just pull one of the threads to get the loop out then you hold that loop you hold that loop and then you while holding the loop you want to make like you want to get this bottom thread you know hooked in so you just do one towards you one of that so you'll see that the needle will go down and then go up and it will get the little thread okay so there I'm gonna just Hold this thread and wind one down. I think I did it the opposite way. So I just saw that spin, which I know if you look at the wire here, you can see it took 
took that and it took it into this so it took that and I am good to start sewing now